What's up Roseway fam? My name is Hannah and today we are going to learn how to calculate speed using a modified Dutchman's log. Before modern navigation instruments could measure speed, the navigators on ships would use a Dutchman's log to calculate the ship's speed. They would drop the log overboard from the bow and count how long it took to pass the stern. Because distance equals rate or speed, multiplied by time, they were able to calculate the speed of the ship. On Roseway, we calculate our speed by finding how long it takes for us to sail 60 feet. In this case, we will time how long it takes for Bella to travel 60 feet. If you're doing this experiment at home, measure out and mark 60 feet, or another distance if you don't have that much space. And using your stopwatch, Time how long it takes for your partner in this experiment to run that distance. In order to get an accurate average speed, we will conduct three trials and calculate the mean. Are you ready, Bella? On your mark, get set, go. Now let's crunch some numbers. We have our three trials that yield an average of 21.4 seconds. Now what does this mean in the context of our equation for speed? Well, the equation for speed is distance over time. Given that we know the time of 21.4 seconds. And we measured out 60 feet. We have all information that we need. So Bella runs at 2.8 feet per second. But what units do you usually think of for speed? Maybe miles per hour? To convert from feet per second to miles per hour, we'll first multiply our distance. 60 feet by one mile over 5,280 feet, a fraction equal to one that gives us what the units we want in the numerator, miles. Then we'll multiply 21.4 seconds by one minute over 60 seconds, and again by one hour over 60 minutes to leave us with hours as our unit of time. Plugging these values into our equation for speed, we now know that Bella ran to miles per hour. However, in the context of sailing, we usually use knots when characterizing speed. One knot is equal to the distance of one nautical mile traveled over one hour. Because our distance and time measurements were taken in smaller units, we will have to convert our data to nautical miles instead of feet and hours instead of seconds. Now, you may have been wondering why we chose 60 feet for Bella to travel. Because one nautical mile is equal to 6,076 feet or rounded to 6,000 feet, it makes for an easy conversion. On the other hand, we may need to use a calculator to convert our time to find hours. Again, we'll convert our data to the units we want by multiplying our values by fractions equal to one. 60 feet multiplied by one nautical mile over 6,000 feet gives us 0 0.01 nautical miles. The seconds to hours calculation is the same as we did before, giving us 0 0.006 hours. Once we have our correct units, we can plug distance and time into the equation for speed and end up with 1.7 knots for Bella's speed. Notice that Bella's speed in miles per hour is just a little bit faster than her speed in knots. 
because one statute mile on land is just a bit shorter than one nautical mile at sea.